looking now at a very rare little item connected with uh, American juveniles that from the exterior doesn't look uh, all that uh, attractive. However, what's interesting is that, in fact, what this is, is a Sommelbond of 16 separate chapbooks issued likely in the 1830s or 40s. And each of these chapbooks uh, contains numerous woodcuts. They're all, uh, I believe, 16 pages in length. The second one, uh, this chapbook here, look at that, the eye of God, so to speak, mother interior with the dog, then of course, women interior with uh, the children in an old uh, fashioned log cabin style house. Here, oh, look at that. It is uh, a full page woodcut, African slave, <laughs> slaves there. The third chapbook uh, is called The Vine. And here's a father and son walking through a trellis with vegetation. They're out in like a garden landscape on this chapbook. The next chapbook is called The Orphan. And that obviously is about a child who grows up without parents, and the plight that they encounter. Um, and so, the fifth chapbook is a catechism told in verse format. Uh, there again, the mother with a child at the interior. It looks to be almost maybe the same woodcut reused as the in the first chapbook, or one of the early ones. And so, the next chapbook here is The Christian Drummer. And there he is himself drumming there in his uniform. Interesting combination of uh, religion and military and that kind of imagery. Uh, oh, the Holy Bible uh, with, opened with an angel uh, in the sky. Here, um, a Syrian, look at this, a general in the Syrian army. And look at that little vehicle there, that horse-drawn carriage. Oh, it looks like a leper or some sort of person struck by disease. There's another Bible with a dove uh, coming from the heavens. Now, the eighth chapbook here is the African widow, and that would appear in no uncertain terms to be uh, an African, uh, perhaps likely slave, although that's a very interesting interior shot of an um, African-American family there. You see tall ships here. Um, now. So, the mother's tears. Now, the next, the ninth chapbook, look at that. There is a man with a wooden or peg leg. Uh, and, oh, a military man standing in front of like a sentry post. Uh, there's an interior with dishes uh, arranged on the wall. And let's see. Oh, yes, number 10, the 10th chapbook here is The Irish Girl. Huh. Interesting about Ireland at this date. Oh, there's an interior view there. The 11th chapbook uh, in this Sammelbund is uh, History of a Poor Afflicted Woman, uh, or Bible Happiness, how the reading the Bible evidently can bring you happiness. Okay. And then the next chapbook is John of the Score, showing how he robbed a poor old man and was condemned to die. Ah, now there's a chapbook theme for children uh, there. <laughs> and yes, interesting profusion of chapbooks here. Look at that little fin finis, the uh, tailpiece. And so the 13th uh, chapbook is William and Harry. Oh, that's interesting. British names, uh, royalty. Uh, yeah, look at these woodcuts, very interesting. The 14th chapbook uh, is Little Birds in Winter, so nature. Oh, look, somebody looks like he's taking something out of a basket there. Mischief, the punishment of mischief. Oh, so there's tenderness towards uh, living things, living creatures, birds, animals, etc. Uh, still a useful life lesson. And so now the next chapbook, the 15th chapbook, is Advice to Sabbath School Children. And 
then the final chapbook in this Samoban is Bread, the Staff of Life. And this chapbook here actually talks about uh, the raising, uh, the cultivation and growing of wheat and the farming of it. Uh, and then uh, I think, yeah, making bread. Yes, making bread. And there's the conclusion. So this uh, rare and interesting early Samoband of American chapbooks is available uh, from me, Brian DeMambro, in Dover, New Hampshire.